Welcome back to a new Q&A. Today we're going to talk about dryer systems. Mm. We have been supplying dryer systems since the 80s. We supply new systems and also rebuilds of existing ones. My name is uh, Björn Forsman and uh, I work here as a process engineer. My name is Tobias Eriksson. I am a design manager. I've been in this business for almost 20 years. And as you can guess, I also love dryers. Björn, why do we think that the dryer design is so important? Uh, the fiber line is um, maybe 30 percent of the investment cost in a new plant but maybe 70 percent of the operational cost. The dryer also has a big environmental impact because of the emissions from the cyclones. So the dryer is more crucial equipment than many other believes. Mm. It is therefore important to customize the dryer system for every customer's needs. Tobbe, mm. what is our approach in this? For many machine suppliers in the board business, the dryer is just a part of their total scope of supply and may not be the part they are focusing on and optimizing. Mm. So for us, the fiber line, including the dryer, it's key equipment. And that's why we are tailor-making these uh, installations for our customers. Mm. Jörn, what is the most important factors when designing a dryer focusing on the operational cost? It's important to keep the energy consumption low. The environmental impact is also important. The dryer is generating emissions that needs to be kept as low as possible. Otherwise, they can also create costs. Mm. When uh, designing a dryer, it's important to uh, design the dryer for the production in needed. Not too big, not too small. That can create also running cost, operational cost that is too high. Mm. So Tobbe, how have we been addressing this regarding dry design? Well, talking about energy, fans with optimal efficiency. Mm. We use frequency regulated motors and we optimize the running conditions for each product. Mm. And maybe the most important is to design the size of the dryer to fit the production. Mm. If it's too big, it will be expensive. I also have some information from a customer that has for many years mm. been optimizing the systems chasing energy uh, consumption and they have been able to save hundreds of thousands of dollars mm. doing uh, this kind of work. You can uh, save a lot of money by designing and uh, maintaining your systems. Understandable. Mm. And then talking about uh, emissions, this is about designing mm. the process and the key equipment to meet tougher regulations. It could be uh, optimizing flows, designing cyclones, make a setup depending on what regulations we need to meet. Mm. We have a question from a viewer. They want to understand the difference between a one-stage dryer and a two-stage dryer. Can you please explain to us? In a one-stage dryer, the fiber is dried in one single dryer duct and maybe one or two cyclones. For bigger setups, this dryer duct needs to be quite big and also quite long mm. to uh, take care of the retention time. In a two-stage dryer, the fiber is dried to about 20% uh, moisture content in the first stage. Therefore, this dryer in the first stage is also often vertical. So they take a little footprint compared to the other one. The rest of the moisture is removed in the second stage that can be made smaller and also a lot of the length which is needed for the retention time of the fiber is, is uh, in, in the second stage. Mm. Also the air from the second stage is returned, reused in the first stage. That means that the emission is much lower from a, a two-stage dryer. Uh, both when it comes to content and also amount of emissions. Our dryer can also be adapted for emission control systems such as our Air CleanMax system. But Björn, since you're the process guy, can mm. you explain to me and the viewers how does this process with designing a dryer start? For example, if it's a emission problem mm. or trying to solve a higher capacity problem? The solution is based on the customer specific inputs. The data is then processed in our plant engineer database. The database is uh, used for designing the, the, the dryer process wise before the design department finalizes mechanical design. The plant engineering tool is also including experience from existing dryer globally. In this stage the customer gets a first report on what can be achieved and what is our idea for a rebuild. Mm. The plant engineering tool is also including customer database or global base from our customers. In this stage, mm. the customer gets a first report on what can be achieved and what is our idea for a rebuild.
field. Maybe you can tell us a bit about how the mechanical design work is done. When we receive this data from the process team, we try to fit it into the specific layout of the plant. This is done together with the customer. We do site visits and make measurements of how to fit the equipment. And often there are changes done in the plant that is not in the original drawing. So we have collisions if it doesn't work this way. What do you think is the most challenging with this part of the job? Well, especially at rebuilds, there is almost always an issue with free space. We always try to reuse existing equipment like support structures. When this job is done, we gather our design team back home. Mm. We go into a 3D model and start producing manufacturing drawings. Mm. So, Tobbe, what to remember for the viewers? Suns is the one in the market that can tailor-made the dryer systems for our customers to achieve the best performance. Mm. Our focus areas are the operation cost, mainly energy and environmental impact, meaning emission control. Exactly. This was this Q&A about the dryer. Mm. Please comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to follow us in our social media. Bye-bye.